everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HardbachElectronics.com. So today we're going to work on the multiband amp a little bit. I already shipped an amp today, shipped out some Harbach kits, waiting on parts for another amp. So, the way this plate supply is going to work is one side is switched, one side's not. So the switch side will connect to one side of the breaker not switch side, the other side of the breaker, plate transformers in a separate cabinet. I'm using double pole 60 amp contactors, uh, mercury type, I just love those. Um, I have two of them, two sets, so one set will be the main start, the other one will short out the soft start resistors after the preset amount of time. I want the filter caps to charge um, up pretty good, you know, so, minute, uh, so I minimize the amount of inrush current. So, Teflon wire, can't tell if it's silver plated or just tinned, uh, it's number four. So, I have the 250 amp Supercon connectors, finally found some plugs for a reasonable price, they're like 35 bucks each. Some people want crazy money for surplus ones, so I stay away from that stuff. Just surf eBay, wait till a good price come, you know, a good deal comes up. I didn't, I don't, I didn't need them right away anyway, so, um, so anyway, two number fours. I'm going to do the same with this, the other one, the second one, and uh, they have a stud. This is the exact size for the stud. I'm going to crimp these with my hydraulic crimpers, solder them with my little mini torch, and heat shrink. Okay, so I do not skimp on my connections. This and my other Teflon wire is not for sale. It's for customers, uh, you know, amps I work on, customers' amps, and amp builds for myself and others. So, so I'm going to get to work, and I'll show you it when the wire is installed and we're using the old stock circuit making revisions you know this is taking some engineering and brain power and luckily I have the thanks to a friend of mine um, uh, Donald I have the original manual cop the copies of the original manual so it helps me trace out wiring and stuff and then the theory of operation Okay, so I'm back. I'm done for the day. I'm going to do a really quick video on this because I am tired. Okay, so as you can see, the old contactors are gone. I'm chipping away at it, I'm trying to reuse as much wiring as I can. I already had these contactors, so I'm using them. You know, I wanted two that were identical in case I do something with the other contact at some point. I don't know what, but just never know. So. Okay, so time to explain everything. As you know, I always use Teflon wiring, and uh, you know I'll end up zip tying everything at some point. Obviously, make everything look nice, nice. So, okay, so when this thing's turned on, the blower comes on, and interlock switch engages. As long as there are no other interlocks open, then the whole cycle begins. If no faults, protection board, I guess, you know, interlocks open, that would be a fault. So, protection board tells this control board to start, okay? So, tells this contactor over here to engage, which, you know, these are uh, one side of the line down here. It's jumped over, so it applies, this, this closes, applies line voltage down this black wire through a fuse holder, which hasn't been installed yet because I need to get a washer because the hole's too big for it. Washer for both sides. And then through the other wire over to the soft start resistors. Okay, so 225 ohm resistors in parallel to cut the resistance in half. Then the other side of the resistors goes to the switch side of the plate primary. These two four gauge parallel wires go down to the uh, switched 250 amp Supercon and this is the line, okay? labeled it. I'll get a label maker to make it look nice, nice. Okay, so the uh, board has a time delay for that to happen. It's not like the uh, the other setup. I prefer the other setup, but there's so, like in the 6 meter PA, but there's so much capacitance that it just wouldn't work with this resistor value. And this is what I needed. So I went a step further and let's say the fuse opened up or these resistors blew open due to some sort of major fault, which shouldn't happen because I'll have everything fused like crazy, but it was so easy to add. So if that happens, this relay 
won't close because the relay coil is 240. One side is connected to the other side of the 240 line, the red side. It's connect, it'll be connected to a terminal block which connects to one of the other fuse holders. This is going to be on two separate circuits, one for the plate supply and there's another circuit for everything else. Okay, and then the other side of the coil connects to the out, you know, the uh, transformer side of the soft start resistors. So the coil of the hard start contactor, one side, you know, these are both in parallel, and one side of it, you know, is going through the relay. So that would stop that contactor from closing. Because if that just closed and there were no there was no soft start if there were no soft start resistors in series, it would be a massive amount of rush. It would probably blow my it would definitely blow my diodes up. I mean, it just would be really bad. So easy to do. Now I have all sorts of extra contacts too of three sets, so I can use those for other things if I want. So okay, so you can see the connections to the. Supercon connectors, I need to get a couple split washers and they don't come with them and put them under the nut. Just, I want to, I'm just, you know, I, I, they're probably not needed, but I just go overboard with everything. Rather be safe than sorry. Okay. So that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call and I'll get back on this. I already have it planned out in my head. This capacitor is a delay off for the blower. Um, connected to that so this is for the this is the blower control and also soft start so we have to change the value on there to increase the delay on the hard start contactor because I want those cap those filter caps I have a lot of capacitance I want I want them to charge up a good amount before the uh, hard start relay is uh, engaged so that's about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So thanks again. 73.